Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go through my empties for the month of May. I can't believe we're getting into June. This is like crazy. Um, I have quite a few. I actually have 18 items in here. Um, I have a couple of items I'm also decluttering, but it is not my most expensive month in terms of like products used. Um, a lot of these are very affordable items. Um, I've got some body care, um, hair care, skincare, and some makeup too. So a good mix of all. Um, usually have quite a bit of hair care and I think I'll start with hair care so yeah let's just get straight into it um, and then when I go through everything I'll just show you like the little sort of um, chart that I've got not chart but you know table that I've got of all <laughs> of um, where I am in terms of how much products I have used up for the year so far and what the value of it is um, which is kind of exciting I've never really done that and I only just started to do that in the last couple of months but it's been really cool so yeah, um, I'll get started. So hair care, I have finished a Herbal Essence. I stopped using Herbal Essence for a really long time, but I did have a couple left over, so I'm just trying to get through them. So this is the Bourbon and Manuka Honey Deep Repair um, Conditioner, and I think it's fine. You know, I really don't mind Herbal Essences. I go back and forward in terms of what shampoo I should use, what shampoo I like. Um, I think it's fine. Um, with conditioner, I think most things work for my hair. It just depends on how much I use. If I use too much, then it gets greasy, but my hair gets greasy anyway. So um, I've got another Tresemme Day 2 uh, dry shampoo. So I think I spoke about one of these in my last empties video. So I finished up another one. I actually kind of like it. It's not that bad um, and it doesn't leave a white cast on my hair. So I might continue buying that. I do get the brunette one because I am brunette, even though I've got um a lot of blonde in my hair at the moment my roots that's kind of where i spray it are always brunette so i don't uh dye the roots the roots stay kind of brown so um yeah that one i finished i have a body care this is the uh palm olive palm beach with coconut shower gel this is so nice if anyone can get hands on it because i can't find it anymore it was on sale here <laughs> so i picked it up and um they haven't brought it back it is the most it's just such a nice smell it's it's like any other you know shower gel it's not nothing special but it's just so tropical and it's so beautiful i absolutely love the smell it is very coconutty but in a really nice tropical fresh way not in a fake coconut smell way so i really appreciate that so i was really enjoying that um i've got another hair care i've got i've finished the superfood um from guy Yates, the super nutritious um, banana hair food i picked it up here these are really, really cheap. Um, I think it's good. Now, I know loads of people love this, especially I have um, friends in the UK who, who wear it as well. My my um, my neighbor that we used to you know live next to in the UK love this. And my best friend who just came to visit, she loves it too. I think it's okay. Like, I don't think that there's anything special about it. I think it's a good hair mask conditioner. But I, if I compare it to any others that I've tried, I think it's kind of the same. And I think the good thing about it is it's so affordable and cheap. I just don't know um, if it's better than them. I just I just don't have a preference. But I would definitely repurchase. I probably will repurchase it um, because it is so affordable. But I don't know if it's better than any of them. Because I have really dry hair and I always have dry hair. And it doesn't really help with that. So... And I've got another one. This is the Red Ken uh, Acidic Perfecting Concentrate. This should be, I think it's the last of the set. I had this, I had the shampoo, the conditioner, and then this one the first time I went to the hairdressers here uh, back in December. So I finally finished this. This is really nice. It's a leave-in conditioner. Um, they told me to obviously do it when I wash my hair when it's damp, but they also told me to continue using it even on the next day like if I don't wash my hair just put it in the, the roots because my hair is really dry um, and actually it's really nice and I'm gonna miss it I don't know um, if the citric acid is really does anything um, the set is available on look fantastic so I will put a link in my description if you want to pick it up it is pretty pricey but honestly I've liked all of the three items that I've tried in the set and yeah, I I actually probably will repurchase them. Um, I'm, I'm gonna wait and see, cause I'm going to the hairdresser soon. So I'm gonna wait and see if they're gonna offer it to me at a better price. Otherwise I'm just gonna purchase from Look Fantastic. But anyway, you can get 20% off if you use my code. So 
yeah. Um, but this was really nice, so uh, finish that one. I have a Neutrogena Hydro Boost cleanser. I have had this for a while. I finally pushed myself to use it. I think when we moved, I had about that much left, and I've been really trying to get through my skincare, so I have finished this now. I like this. I think at the end of its run with me, it does. It wasn't really clean. It wasn't working too well. So um, it only lasts twelve months. I had it for probably twelve months. So that kind of makes sense. Um, it's not good at uh, cleansing the face if you've got makeup on. So it's better if you get the makeup off and then cleanse the face, which is absolutely fine. I have cleansers that do that, and I also have cleansers who actually do remove makeup, which I personally prefer because it just saves me a step. But I really like this. I actually like the Neutrogena Hydro Boost range. I really like their water um, cream as well, the, the gel cream. I've, I've gone through a couple of those. I have one still to go through now. Um, and I also have their exfoliator. Which I don't really care for exfoliators, but I really like the range. It's just really, just feels fresh on the face and it's just full of water. So it's just nice, it's quite hydrating. This is a weird one. So this one I didn't finish all on my own and it is for men. It's a men's deodorant, but um, my partner basically gave it to me because I run out of deodorant. So I started using it um, and I finished it. It's fine. You know, I don't really mind using men's deodorant. It really doesn't matter to me. It does really smell like a man, but honestly, I kind of like that. And, it, you know, if you just mask it with some perfume, it really doesn't matter. So deodorant is pretty good. Um, Burberry... Um, uh what is this this is a perfume so you can see i have a little bit i have a little bit left i have like probably five more squirts left but i could it won't like spray it won't spray any more out i can okay well now it just did all right so let's just do that i swear it's been stuck for ages oh now it's spraying okay never mind well anyway this is going to be done very soon so i thought i would talk about it um Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's spraying. Honestly, I've been struggling to get this to spray for the last 10 days. I want to say 10 days. Now it's spraying again. So yeah, okay, fine. I'm just going to spray it. I guess you just need to get the right angle. Yeah, it's like hardly, I can't, now, now it's not doing it. It's very, very annoying. And I can, I've been trying to get the cap off so I can just literally dab it on my skin. The cap just won't budge. I think it's like glued there or something. It's like cemented on there. Okay, wait, here we go. I'm gonna just spray it all now and be done with it. Okay, there's a little bit left. I'll use that up in the next couple of days, but that isn't officially an empty, I finished it. So I'm just gonna count it <laughs> towards this month. I got a Garnier Micelling Cleansing Water. This is um, just the 125 ml. Finished that, nothing really to talk about. It takes off the makeup, so that's all good. I've got another cleanser here. This is the uh, Dr. Botanicals Cleanser Grapefruit and Watermelon. This one is pretty good. So I have finished it, I finished it actually this morning. Um, it's like, a, it was like a jelly and I, I do like it as a cleanser and it does a really good job at getting rid of the makeup, but it is so frustrating because you dip your fingers in there and I like to wet my fingers and then dip in there so just that, you know, it's, it's all, it's got a little bit of moisture straight away before I put it on my uh, skin. And then it, because it's so gooey and goopy, it, it, it was kind of annoying to dig it out of the container. Um, I would have much preferred some sort of other sort of maybe tube to squeeze it out or anything as opposed to the, um, this glass packaging. Although I really like the fact that it's glass packaging, obviously it's eco-friendly and things like that. It just for this type of product, it was quite annoying to do. So just that. Uh, next up, I've got this Oblifica Seaberry Hair Serum. Now I've had this for probably seven, eight years. And I finally finished it the last couple of months. I've been using it and it has the most amazing smell. I am definitely going to repurchase this. I got this in a, um, a subscription box years ago. I think it was my, um, I can't even remember. I can't remember what box it was. It was one of the boxes I was doing last year. But anyway, I got it. I never used it. I finally started using it and it's amazing. It smells so, so good. So I'm gonna definitely repurchase this. I really love it. I love putting oils and serums in my hair. This, I've just been like trying to do that just to keep some moisture in my hair because it is so dry and obviously it's getting drier because I am dyeing it more so it has gotten really really dry especially at the ends but I am going to be cutting it soon um, and this really has helped 
just with just making it look refreshed if I haven't washed it you know the next day I put some dry shampoo put this on the ends and it just look it just gives it more of an uh, healthy glow again um, as opposed to looking like it's fried basically right now it's fried it just looks fried because I haven't done anything to it today but this is amazing so if you can get hands on it I would definitely do it the full bottle I think is about 38 um, this is only a 15 mil and it lasts me quite a bit. So yeah, I definitely think I'm going to repurchase that because I think it's really, really good. Um, let's see, what else have I got? I've got another skincare item. I've got this, um, is this 111 or is it 11 Skin? How do you say this brand? I'm not entirely sure, but this is a rose gold illuminating eye mask. I actually used this a couple days ago. So this is fine as an eye mask. The gripe that I have, and I saved all of this extra plastic, the issue that I have is the um, individual eyepieces, they um, arrive in, I, I only saved one of these, but they each have their own little plastic packaging. And then around the actual eye mask, they have additional plastic on it. This product has so much plastic for what it is, it really infuriates me. And I'm not one to really talk about packaging all that much, but I have spoken about this before. I think last year when I tried one of these, I got three of these and it, it really, really frustrates me that they have this and then they have the plastic and then they have additional plastic on top of the product. Why can't they just put them in here? You know, you can get face masks and they just drop them in these little like foil packaging or plastic, whatever they are, and you just put them on. Why can't they do the same with eye masks? Are they really good? to get that damaged is it really worth like having so much plastic in the packaging I, I just don't like it. it it's just it's one of those things that I I don't like these products because I think they're wasteful and I think they're easy to use for the consumer to what extent am I really going to want to add more plastic to the environment just to make it easier for me to put this on my face really don't like eye masks face masks anything like this because it just is additional packaging where I do not need it and I just find it wasteful and so yeah I really really dislike this um just for that reason as an as an illuminating you know eye mask it was actually quite nice but I would never purchase it. Okay, another one that I have is the Gold Fadden MD Wake Up Call Overnight Regenerate Facial Treatment. This is so good. <laughs> I was, I had this in my uh, my skincare and I was like, oh, I don't need it because it says it's for dry and aging skin. Hello, what am I talking about? This is amazing. I don't care what kind of skin you have. This is so good. Um, it's obviously a little mini. This is only 12 mil. This one's expensive too. This one is an expensive one. So I think if I ever get a chance to repurchase this, then I would. Um, but it, but if I can find a dupe for it, then that would be great. It is just so nice. Um, you know, it's just one of those, it's just a moisturizer. You just put it on your face and I put it at the, at, at night. And there's just something about the consistency and the texture that I really, really loved. It, so some um, night creams are too thick or too oily or not moisturizing enough. This was the perfect balance of all of them. And my skin really liked it. And I haven't been able to use it in like three weeks and it's, it's not been liking it so far. So yeah, really, really enjoyed that product. Um, okay, let's, I think the rest is, no, I've got two sunscreens here. So I finished up these two little minis. This is so easy to finish up for me. So these are the Hawaiian Tropics. I've got the Aloha, Aloha Care and the Sun Protection. Um, I think, which one did I prefer? I think I preferred, I think I preferred this one, which is the Aloha Care. I'm not sure. There was one that I preferred way more than the other. I think it was this one. Um, just just like with the smell and the consistency but you know they did the job it was fine okay i'll go through a couple of uh declutters so i'm decluttering this mascara this is from winnie mega and it's the volume 5d mascara you can see it's all been rubbed off i have tried this a few times in my shop my stash but the reason i'm getting rid of it is because it has so much product on there it's really really messy and i just can't I can't with this. You can see how much product is there. It's just, it's very sticky, very clunky. I just, I'm not gonna put this on my eyes anymore. So I'm getting rid of that one. 
I'm also going to be decluttering this um, eyeliner. This is from Primark, it's very, very old. It's like this light pink color, but I have, I tried to use it in my Shop My Stash um, last month and I just couldn't find any use for it. It's, it doesn't go in the waterline. Uh, it's too light to really line anything in my eyes the way that I use eyeliners. So I'm really just gonna get rid of this because I, I, could, I can't see myself ever using it. So what's the point? Like, I'm never gonna get through it. I think I use it like three times in a month. I'm just not gonna do it. Um, I've used up a little sponge here. This is really disgusting. So I'm gonna to be chucking this away. I finished a mascara. This is from Code Beautiful, which I believe is a UK brand. Um, I finished this up. This is 22 pounds. I looked at the recommended retail price because this is another one where I just got in a beauty box. This is what the wand looked like. Now, I kind of like the wand, but the only thing that I would say about this wand is it is very, very spiky and I did poke my eye quite a lot and it really hurts. Like it's actually pretty spiky to the point where it's a little bit dangerous. Um, it was just getting too dry, so I stopped using it and I'm, I'm getting rid of it. But yeah, um, I would never repurchase this. For £22, I do not think it's worth it. If you're going to get it in a beauty box, then fine, yeah, use it up or any other way. But yeah, I do not think it's worth £22 where you can get, you know, a Lancome for like, what, £24 or something like that. And they're so much nicer, so no thank you. Okay, and then I have something very exciting, which I've left to the end, which is I finished a blush. Ooh, super exciting. This is a spoiler for one of my projects, but this is the L'Oreal Le Blush. And I have finally finished it. This is just, you know, what's left over. Oh my gosh, I've had this for like 10 years, probably something crazy like that. And I um, don't think I've really ever finished a blush. So I'm really pumped. Obviously it is a small pan, but you know what? It is a blush. Blushes are hard to pan, let alone finish. So I'm gonna take this as a win. I don't really care. It is a win for me. So yeah, really excited that I have finished a blush and um, I'm, I am I had so many other makeup products that I was like waiting to be done to throw into this empties recap, but they're not done. So hopefully next month they will be done. And I also have some more skincare that is like so super close to being done. So yeah, I do have a bunch of stuff that should be ready for next month. And you know, I'm really enjoying just like getting through my stuff I'm not being so much of a hoarder anymore especially with my skincare and my hair care I'm just going through my hair care a lot faster than I ever have done so really exciting um but yeah let's get into like how many products that I have finished so the the way that I, I total it up is I don't can't include the decluttered items and I don't include them in the total value so this month I've used 18 products which is is the highest actually month that I have had since the start of the year I think yeah every month has been slightly lower um, it's not the highest value month though as I said at the beginning of the video um, it, Everything kind of totals around 185 pounds, um, which is a sort of like middle, like sort of like the average of what I'm. It's it's about 200 or less that I'm sort of averaging at the moment, which I think is pretty cool to be honest. If I'm, I'm not even spending 200 a month on uh, makeups, you know most months some months i am but most months i'm not so to be able to finish beauty items that total that amount is actually a win-win for me um really cool and yeah and i feel like what i finished so what 60 or so items in in like so far this year which is really crazy and uh, almost 900 like pounds worth of items too. I'm still doing pounds because a lot of these items I had picked up in the UK when I was living there um, and I've just brought them here to Portugal. Eventually when I no longer have items that I purchased with UK money I will start talking like euros and stuff because some of these were euros like I bought this palm olive here um, so that one I had to sort of like kind of figure out what the what the recommended retail price is in like pounds and stuff. So some of it is a little bit off. It's like approximate values. I'm just I'll just put it out that way. Um, but yeah, so exciting. I'm really happy that I'm I'm just like getting through my empty spots because I was only able to do this I think every like six months like last year because I was just so slow with my empties. But this is like giving me the boost in the confidence that I need to just get through items and I don't I have like a hyaluronic serum in my 
my bathroom that has the the tiniest bit amount and I'm like why didn't I work on that why didn't I use it this month so that's definitely going to be done next month and I also have another um, hydrating serum that has the same amount of stuff left so I'm like okay well I'm going to get like two serums straight away and I have a um, elf like a uh, face cream that is like almost done so you know super excited and happy um that I'm, I'm managing to use my products because that's what they're there for and they're not really there to just sit there and not be used so <laughs> um thank you so much anyway that is the video so if you would like to like the video and subscribe i would really really appreciate it but otherwise have a wonderful day evening night morning wherever you are and um hopefully i will see you again soon thank you bye